I'm Rebecca Burns and you're watching Information Overdrive, industry information when you need it. Producers are always looking for ways to make their stories more visually interesting. Well, the CamBlock Time Lapse Kit does just that. I'm here with Stuart Mayer, founder of CamBlock, um, and we're curious, what does CamBlock do? Well, we build portable professional motion control systems. The whole idea is to take uh, professional motion control techniques, repeatable moves, time lapse, super smooth motion, and take that out of the studio and put it in the field. And what's kind of unique about our system is its modularity in that you can have a small little three foot system with a single axis or you can have five axes and 20 feet of dolly travel if you want and all the packs up into a couple of pelican cases and a tube case. Our cameras work with smaller cameras, uh, modular video cameras kind of like a Red, Epic or Scarlett, Sony 3, C300. Those are really ideal just because they're compact and they keep all that weight in a real small space. Um, having said that though, uh, people put some pretty big cameras on, Sony Alexas, you can undersling the system to use in a studio, and we've had people use some pretty large cameras. Um, and of course, you know, DSLRs, 5D, 7D, Canon D8, sorry, uh, Nikon D800, D800E, those are all really popular cameras, uh, the, new, the Mark III uh, for time lapse, you know, mostly. Um, we support all that and trigger the cameras with our system. So this is a timeline based system where you have keyframes on a timeline. And so what we can do is turn on our little thing and what we do is we say like, hey, I want to find the position, let's say, at the first frame and I'll add a keyframe. And now, I'll move my system back to where I want it to go at, you know, the end here. And I'll add a keyframe at the end. And there we go. This is just the simplest A to B move. We can get really complicated, we can play it back at any speed. But there it is, I'm going to run it in reverse since we're already at the end. As you can see, it's just following our little timeline right there, making a nice little steady, very smooth shot. A typical pan tilt dolly system, depending on you know, your situation, takes between 15 and 30 minutes to set up. Um, and then there's of course lots of options. You, know, you can go vertical with our vertical rig, uh, you can go twice as long, you can have 3D, um, you know, you can get pretty complicated with it if you want to, but base system 15 to 30. The guys that shot Planet Earth, they're our biggest customers. Uh, they're, they have just wrapped up uh, Wild Arabia, which is a series for BBC and Discovery, uh, shot with our system. Uh, Wild Planet North America shot with our system. I mean, while we're on uh, uh, North, Northern stuff, uh, another Discovery show, uh, Flying Wild Alaska has shot BYU with our system, and also IMAX films. There's a new Jerusalem 3D film coming out that has uh, 3D motion control time lapse shot with our system, uh, one on Panama. Uh, the Last Reef was an IMAX film that came out last year that had uh, 3D motion control of, uh, of New York City. Uh, we got Turner Network Television shooting interstitials for all their NBA basketball games. We got independent studios doing food shoots, product shots, doing real time. Uh, music videos love it because they can do all their compositing special effects and you know vertigo shots, controlling your zoom and your focus and your dolly all at the same time and precisely uh, repeatable every time. Uh, it's got a lot of really universal uses um, if you're creative, creative enough to see it. You know, because it's a modular Tinker Toy system, basically it's as creative as you want to be. If it doesn't do something and a customer asks us, we're really small, we build all of our own parts. We'll make it. Uh, half the features in our software are user requests. They're like, I really wish it could take, you know, three or four different exposures instead of the five that my camera's doing for bracketing, maybe just two, we write it in. I really wish I could change my exposure over a day and exposure map it. And so we write that in. Uh, joystick control is brand new as of today. It's a little late coming because it really wasn't the focus of our system. Uh, but now you can use a joystick to use it just as a real-time hothead on the end of your jib arm, you know, it just adds another functionality to the system. A base rig, um, a base pan tilt dolly rig runs about $17,000, uh, and then you can get up to about $25,000 when you add bells and whistles. Hey there, we want to hear from you, so make sure you comment, Facebook post, or tweet. We want to know what you think about CamBlock. Until next time. So where do you download information over Drive? Go to Cruise Control's website and click Podcast. Hey there, I noticed you were going to collapse the video without commenting. Make sure you do that.